What's going on YouTube? This is Mustafa Love with Hearthstone Media. Thanks for tuning in again. But if this is your first time checking out the channel, you're mad late. But not too late to hit the like or subscribe button to be notified the next time I make a video like this. So this is going to be a quick video. I don't want to touch on a topic. First, I want to say get well soon to Miss Juicy Baby from Little Women Atlanta. I hear she's in the hospital right now and, and trying to be on the men. So, uh, um, you know, wish her the best thoughts and prayers go out to her. And I'm making this video because a lot of reports are surfacing right now on social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. It's kind of like spreading and it could all be spreading from a false news report that Kevin Samuels, if you do not know who he is, I'll get to that in a moment. But Kevin Samuels has passed away due to, I think, cardiac arrest or a heart attack or some there like. And if that is true, heart goes out to his family and friends and loved ones but if that is not true that's a terrible rumor to put out for even those who, who hate him and i am not a fan of kevin samuels but he's a human being who has never really done any like real harm to anybody so i would wish him the best um and and hope that you know he is still alive and well and breathed but i'm making this video because the news of his death sparked so many comments as soon as I went on every one of my social medias it was like a, a celebration like right now today is single de Mayo but it seemed like people were celebrating you know that this man's death like he like I said did something specifically to harm someone as if he was like a killer or a murderer and again I am not a fan of his antics his actions his words I hear and see some of the things he says because if you're on social media enough or if you're a content creator like myself you know it's kind of hard not to especially when it comes to some of the videos that I I touch on I touch on a lot of topics that he touches on in his videos my delivery is just a little bit different than his but I just want to kind of put this out there I get why people don't like a lot of the things that Kevin Samuel says and a lot of the things he does and the way he delivers a lot of his messages. But let's not act like there's not a lot of truth in some of the things he says. So, again, I'm not going to regurgitate any of his words because a lot of the things that he says is not stuff that he made up. You know, I hate when a lot of kind of like relationship gurus or these life coaches are saying things as if they wrote these books or they wrote these things. But this is where I think sometimes Kevin Samuels gets a bad rap. He recently was getting drugged for making the comments of women that are 35 and over who are unmarried are leftover women. Now, man, that's a hard one. That, that's, that's a hard, tough comment to say in open form, right? And that will hurt the feelings, potentially, of a lot of women who are fit that category. But I don't think he's saying that as if he made that up. Because I've had conversations with women who fit that category who feel left over. I have women who have told me that they feel like they've been picked over or left behind for lesser women or women who are of a lesser caliber of them just because of this or that or maybe they don't dress a certain way or, or have a certain career or make a certain amount of money or have a snatched body or a BBL body or an Instagram model's body or whatever. I hear a lot of good women tell me personally that they feel this way. Now me, when I make that statement, I'm a little more tactful and that's one thing I will give Seven Samuels a little credit. I respect his gumption in saying some of the things he says in open forum, and he's willing to take whatever backlash and heat that he that he gets from it. Now, mind you, this stuff makes him money. It keeps him on the tips of people's tongues, like me and a lot of people out there. It keeps people talking about him when he says these controversial things. He's willing to, you know, invite that smoke into his life. I ain't to a certain degree, but some of the things he says is not without validity. When he says women you need to start making better decisions in how you choose the the type of man that you want and look at different criterias in how you go about making those choices he ain't lying we know and have seen women and men do it too choose people for all the wrong reasons and then when it doesn't go right they're like oh, oh but i can't believe this happened. i can't believe he did this and we're all like well, you should believe it because we all knew that this type of person would do something like this to you. It's, some things are beyond red flags. Some things are there for all to see. And some people miss out on them or look past them or look beyond them. Or they only see what they want to see that's right in front of their face. And they don't see through. They don't see through into the distance. So I just think Kevin Samuels is a guy who 
has a terrible way of communicating a lot of things that, again, may hurt a lot of women's feelings to hear, but they usually hurt the feelings of the women who the things are kind of true about. Now, again, I'm not saying all women, but I'm saying a lot in some. And he says a lot of things that men do say and do feel. Not all men, but a lot. A lot of stuff, a lot of quotes I've heard him say. And I've had these conversations with my wife. And she's like, oh, you heard Kevin Samuel said this? I'm like, yeah, I've heard a lot of guys say that. He's just like crazy enough to go say it in public. The things he said, I've heard plenty of men say. He ain't making up a lot of that stuff. He ain't writing a book on how men view women. So, again, I wish the man the best. Because he's a human being. To my knowledge, he ain't never killed nobody. He ain't never raped nobody. He's never... As my wife has just brought me this amazingly beautiful margarita. She put a fresh mango or something in it. A single de mayo in it. it. Smells a little spicy. So again, guys, I wish Kevin Samuels the best. Because he's a human being who, to my knowledge, hasn't murdered anybody. Or raped anybody. Or harmed anybody physically. Again, to my knowledge. So, I wish the man no ill will. And I think a lot of the scorn that's thrown his way is, again, self-inflicted on his part. By the way he chooses to deliver his message in the smug and callous way that he does he's unapologetically unapologetic that will rub a lot of people the wrong way but i ain't wishing death on a man and i ain't gonna dance on a man's grave for anybody that's doing that because he says something that may or may not be true about you your brethren or your species i don't know you gotta look inwardly on that man because again a lot of people are in denial about these situations I could say something right now that could be true about more than half of the people that watch this, and they will still hate me for it. So with that being said, guys, I'm out. Happy single to my And this is rather good. Thanks, babe. Good job. No, nah, I'm talking about it on camera, yeah. I'm not live, though. I'm not live, but nah, I'm recording. Right, I'm trying in a second. Hello, audience. I made that drink. Compliments of Barbara. Okay, I'm gonna edit that out. We'll go ahead. See, my own Barbara. Okay. <laughs> right. She's trying to be a star. I'm the star here.